Hello world and welcome back to Polybridge. Today, I'm going to play... Let's see here, what do I have? I played that one last time. So... Up, under, over. I don't think I've played that one before. So I have A should go here, B should go here, and C should go here. Seems kind of straightforward. Just build triangles on top like this. And then, like, lower it down or something like that. And then move it back. If there's no hydraulics on this level, but I think there are, it will be more of a problem. Or if it's one hydraulic phase and not two, that will also be a problem. But I don't think there is like that. Okay. The angle is weird here, so let's try and change it. Because we definitely need to get the first car up. Might need to make the road start, like earlier, but that worked. And that car need to get, like, dropped down here. We have one hydraulic. Let's, like, skip that area and just make a piece of road, like, here. I definitely don't think this is a good idea because of um, this thing. Oh, I actually got an idea. Let's use the new awesome split joints. So instead of having one piece here, we have two and make a split joint here. They all should be twos. Great. That one is a two as well. And we need to have you as like that. I think that's the right way to do it. Then I need a road here, and then a hydraulic here. And then I need to expand this one, and I need to attach this one like that. Let's see how this works. It might. It might not work. And I didn't connect that thing here, so that's a weak point. But it still might work. That looks a bit tight. I needed to expand a bit longer and it looked like I would need to like open up more because the area that car uses up is larger so let's do the same thing more or less but with two pieces of road but let's not finick around with the weird split joint thing and just make something like this instead split joint here Click that one, that one, and let's add some lower supports underneath. Great. Do you want it to connect to this point here? Probably not. Or we could, but who cares? Let's just lower that, and that was my, so my phone, if you're wondering what that sound was. And I think this will work. Yeah, that looks really good. The actually didn't look that good. Expand 22% instead of 50. And we're too high. Somewhere in between 50 and 22%. And so now I've tried like 39. Hopefully if we just skip the whole thing. So it broke here, so we need to expand like 44. And I know that that car got stuck. I need to fix that in some other way. That worked. And there's only one hydraulic phase. That means we're probably... We have lots of money left. So we're probably supposed to build... We have unlimited road. First I thought, oh, we only have one road. And that would make this a lot harder. So you just build a second road on top. Like that. And then triangle it all together. Like this. And I think the first part will hold without no real problem. The problem will be at the second part here. Because we need to drop the bridge down on top of other thing. And can I place you in here? Yeah, I can. Good. I forget sometimes that you can place things inside cars like that in this game. Make that angle a bit nicer. And have a road like this, maybe. And 
and some triangles on top. And hope that this works. Okay, it breaks here. Because that is too tall. That works now. Good. Does this work? Great, actually. And that does not work. What if... We have something like this instead. That falls down the other way. Because now we will have a grounded point. But then we would have to build some sort of like tower. And have it connected to like this. So it falls down when that car is moved. Let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It will probably break because that connection here is the only thing that holds it up. And it's just wood. So it's really, really weak. And I need to lower this point here. So I need to increase the length of the top part. Like that. Good. Let's see here. That's not good. It's still too high. Let's lower it a bit more. And it breaks now. Because of a freaking car. Okay. And if that doesn't work, I can just... Change this one here so it's a bit closer. So the falling distance will be lower. And that will probably make the angle lower. Good. Need to change it a bit more. And I might need to reinforce this and this. And I have an idea for it. It's just my steel trick, if you can call it a trick. But that thing. It usually works just fine. And a bit lower even more. That car has problems. Big, big problems. Still a bit more. I need this to work. Otherwise, I don't know how to solve it right now. Because I'm feeling... Crap! It breaks. But it almost worked. Because... Or because of that, I'm really, really, really happy. So now I'm just reinforcing points that I know are weak. So just building like this. It can increase the strength of a beam to up to 50%. Or no, 50% is a lie. Up to 100%. So it makes it pretty much as strong as steel. I don't know actually if it's strong as, as strong as steel. But usually when I play steel, I could have played it like this instead. And it would have worked just fine. So I think uh, of it as, as strong as steel, but I actually don't know. And it breaks here. Let's change the angle because it might break because it hits a sharp angle increase. And we would want, we don't like that. And that looks better. But it still breaks, so let's look at stress mode and lower the speed when I press the button. Okay, 50%. Let's look at 40%, should work. Okay, that will probably break. Yeah, it breaks. So, reinforce that one with steel. Or with wood. I don't know why I said steel. But of course, wood. The great wood. That works. And it worked! Awesome! This was a very interesting level and harder than I thought it would be. I thought there would be two hydraulic phases, not only one. So if you want to play this level, go and play it. It's called Up, Under and Over. Oh! Now I get it! Like, over! Oh, nice. Should have, like, listened to the title a bit more, but I didn't. So, if you like this video, like it if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.